Let's take him. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. Welcome to Hillian's Hope with me, Hillian, along with. Here. And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 48. Uh, where we'll be trying out up to four games uh, for about 15 to half, uh, 15 minutes to half an hour to see if they're any fun for streaming later. And yeah, if a game is just complete crap, we just jump ship to the next one. So yeah, this could go for two hours, a bit longer maybe, or if yeah, things go bad, just an hour. And the first thing we're starting with is Super Trench Attack. So let's get started. I have played this a little bit before. So let's just start a new game and go. I uh, don't need to really go for a different name, so let's just go with Hill. We have normal. Okay, I can't tell if that's uh, a Grimace of Pain or a Grimace of Pleasure. So uh, let's just go normal and go. As you can tell, it's a rather <laughs> silly game. Yeah. Do I recognize the animation? Boy, are we glad to see you. After what ha happened at the to the last recruits? Last recruits? <laughs> Forget how I said that. You should report to HQ. Before I forget, here's your training manual. Okay, standard controls of WSD and mouse. So this is a little bit of a, well, sort of is a twin stick shooter-like, but it's not like you've been spraying bullets all all over the place. And yeah, we have this little dog here to show the brain. We have, I forget what this is, inventory. We have a map here, we have statistics. Uh, how good we are with rifles, pistols, grenades, walking speed, defense, and health, no, 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 medical skill, health, and I have no idea what this last one in the corner is. Looks like a blast. Hello. Okay, I'm guessing the chickens are coming back to roost. <laughs> uh, who are you? Okay. I've seen the truth. Okay, that can't be any good. But yeah, let's head in here. So you must be Hill. That's me. Uh, I mean, ma'am. We're short of men, as you know, after the enemy invasion. And I, I forgot to I started the usual timer of two hours. Uh, that's the spirit. Just find your tent and get some sleep. I was hoping this was my tent. Get some sleep. Of oh, course. Tent. Yeah, it, it's a it's a silly little game. Um, yeah. This should be. Yeah, this is our tent. Now uh, there we go. No, not disturb. Um, Mousetrap, bag box, let's see, survive boot camp, destroy basically achievements. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why would a mouse spend time making a mouse hole in a tent? <laughs> that is one of many, many questions you can ask about this game. And yeah, I'm kind of blocking it, but we have our health bar over here. 
with our character looking a bit shifty, I'm uncertain. Let's see. My left mouse oh, is an object to use. Is this same creator as. Uh, oh, what's the game called? Insult Simulator? Not sure, actually. For, I, well, it's not heard of them, Carbon Copy, but. Yeah, there's something about the, that game and this one that seem oddly similar. Good, there you are. I have a mission for you. But first, you'll need some training. Yeah, yes, sir. I mean, ma'am. Go see Sergeant Jones at the boot camp. He'll take good care of you. And don't worry, he's not as bad as he looks. And he's probably worse. <laughs> no, I'm scared. Uh, this way, uh, this is blocked off. And for this tunnel, it's a short in areas. Okay. Now we're on the boot camp. Um, I think you might have some better things to do than to play with a yo-yo. Well, fun fact, or unless I remember wrong, I think... Oh. So your hill will pick a man out of you net. Yeah, yes, now give me 50. 50, 50 what, 50 gold? <laughs> Our character isn't the brightest spark. You better beat my obstacle course or there'll be hell to pay. Here, you'll need this. Try not to shoot yourself. Okay. Pistol and the, the farmer's wife. Okay. Don't forget your manual. Okay, so we this didn't even there's food on the walls in there. Yeah. Let's shoot for headshots on enemies for the foot shots. There is a tiny bit of strategy with that. So if we have our pistol equipped. Are you going to save? Uh. Oh yeah, I uh, was to ask. Oh, was I thought? Oh yeah, I was to what say, I think yeah, my family was right. I think the yo-yo started out as a weapon. Okay. I forgot it was supposed to be a hunting weapon or what. Matt, look it up sometime. <laughs> I know it's a weapon in Terraria, but I thought it was mostly as a joke. But it's, that's there's a been all, there are all the games with yo attack yo-yos. Some games I don't really remember the names of from PlayStation 1. I think we have unlimited ammo with things, and it does matter where we shoot something. And okay, if it, if it turns into a red dot, it means that we can shoot it. And oh, oh wait, I didn't actually. Okay, it turns a <laughs> our cursor turns into a little twirly thing. What the heck are you? It's just too hard. No mud fights. Okay. The targets you can destroy headshots and foot shots. Yeah, foot shots would keep enemies distracted for a bit so you can shot me in the freaking foot. Of course, headshots do more damage, body shots do less, but are easier to get. Here's the thing I'm starting to wonder about this game, especially with the intro scene. Is this supposed to be a reverse D-Day? From the little bit I did play of this, I didn't notice any specific uh, well, parallels between uh, yeah, D-Day and us, except for it being a beach invasion and such. It's yeah, space to knife. I'm only thinking. Well, now I see. Wait, it does not remember his own birthday. The moments I can't stand when you don't remember your own birthday. But what the? Really, am? <sighs> did you? Was that the cutscene, or did you seriously pull down his pants? Yeah, it was the cutscene. All right, but I was a bit unsure. <laughs> You, Mr. Bacon. All right, you passed, but you got my, I got my eye on you. You might want to keep. <laughs> that's just no pleasing some people. You might want to keep your eye on your sauce, because I'm pretty sure people will want to steal this. Okay, it's just a loading screen. 
But it is me, Rom would be a brilliant voice actor for that uh, drill sergeant. Good, you're now trained for your mission. We're here to recapture Pebble Beach from the Black Army. Why can't they just have stayed at home? Unfortunately, they have captured all our bunkers. We need you to knock out the bunkers' radio antennas first. Me? You can use these to blow them up. Which I'm guessing is, yep, grenades, of course. Let's see what you've got. Okay. Now, now we've already seen that basically. E key to use grenades, okay? And we can buy more at the gun shop, so we have only a limited supply. I'm guessing, yeah, we have. Four. Okay, we do have limited ammo then. We have about 190 bullets for the pistol, and 158 for the rifle. Okay. Yeah, we I have to buy our out. own equipment? By the looks of it, yeah. This is the Roman Legions. Shape right now. You're already shaped. He's just trying to come up with any excuse to not go into combat, huh? Okay. He makes a deal with that one himself, it seems. Okay, there's the antenna. Got the grenade out. Okay. okay. Not that monkey. Because he's a monkey? Yep. Yeah. And we just got shot in the ass, I think. By who? Okay. Just cut off his pants and his head with one shot, apparently. There's someone below uh, the barricade there. Uh, there's some people there as well. Are they coming from a boot camp? Really? There. Let me shoot the freaking birds. Bloody, they are swearing a storm at you! He's wearing like a sailor. Oh, God. Don't make me laugh, and he should start laughing himself. Like, ooh, coin! Wait. Gold coin is seriously the currency. Okay, there's some enemy grenades. He's still up there. Another one they're going to have a close cast for. What happened to him? He got shot on by a bird. Are you sure there was a bird at the snowball for that's a big dump? We have the summer we have the summer camp, I'm not really sure you should call a an army camp <laughs> summer camp like that. And I did say we need to find those tunnels and uncover them and Really secret tunnel map. You're just going to write that on there. Can you really bring you to hell down or something? <laughs> it's going to get. It. That's going to be painful. Are there any tunnels here? Yeah. Oh, for people that are confused from earlier, what I mean be reverse T that is like, well, like if, if Germany invaded USA instead or something like that. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not sure I've seen them throw grenades before. Grenades on the vegetables, I think. Whoa. What is this thing? Cave. And a block. Okay. Obviously, we can't go here yet. Okay. Yep, I didn't mean to shoot the birds. Let's just warp back. Now this is now open. So yeah, let's go check her. Okay. Great job you've done, Hill. Without radio, they're totally exposed. Have you made the shortage yet? To do more missions, you'll need to visit me here at HQ. Okay. And the shop for upgrades. Shop. Ah, hey, we meet again. So, yeah, come on, Dama. Hey, that's, you know my hobby is collecting rare items. Really, his wife and they look exactly alike with that. Let's I hope it's his wife. Increase uh, knife damage by fifty. Health item amount increased. Okay, and a silver watch for some reason. Might as well try and get that, see what that does. And we can sell some of our stuff. Stick grenades. Oh, okay, that's explosive damage that the symbol was before. Okay, let's not sell our ammo or our weapons. But yeah, it, it literally says my wife here. Alright, I was unable to say free that. First. Okay. Yeah, me and Bob lost those beach bunkers. Only really there has Betsy out once, she kicked his ass. <laughs> okay. We have a gun shot. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> we'll have to speak up, I used to be a gunner. Is anyone normal in this camp? Uh, no. <laughs> What? You want guns? I got plenty of those. Okay. Okay, okay it's just the average damage that it shows on that. Uh, let's see. Ammo is decently cheap, I'd say. We've got the hunter rifle and the Webley pistol, but we can't afford either of them. We don't have much else to shoot. Yeah, so. Bill's John. Okay. Guns, standard game and stuff. Okay, so 550, yeah. 550, 540 experience to match rank. And new fella, bet you're the real uh, card shark, huh? No, but I think I'm looking at one. You're in or out, boy. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see this, <laughs> I hadn't run into this before. Uh, let's not gamble away all our uh, gold. We kind of need that. How the hell is there the last up with a rubber duck? Yep. Okay. Wait, what? Wait. Just questions upon questions, huh? Map drop. Ah, another green recruit for us as a daisy. Calling a day. With my amazing traps, you know, you just might live another day. Uh, not with that time bomb in his hands. Yeah, he better not drop the dynamite. Okay, reusable decoy trap. Hmm, let's. You might want to take out some life insurance before you try that trap. <laughs> Very big vote of confidence, huh? Okay, let's just get another mission and get out of this hellhole. Amy is still holding our bunkers. We have to take them back. I'm going to tell her I'm afraid of the dark. Come on, how did you even get here then? 
The mission is to recapture our main front bunker. We will need to clear the bunker of all enemies. I think uh, I can handle that, I think. I can use these to help you. Okay, first aid kits. Let's equip first aid for healing. Alright. And I think we have enough time for this mission at least. And this is a very quirky game, <laughs> I'll say that. Watch with the launch box and the water bottle of wine. Oh, that's not a launch box, Julian. That's not a launch box. That's a picnic gear basket. It can be used for yeah, romantic dates on the park and all. Again, got a question: Where the hell they found this guy? Again, where the hell? <laughs> he can't even use a freaking ladder. Let's see. Was he conscripted? Probably from the actually, of it. actually, I'm having about it. I don't know when. But I know, yeah. I know where the whole recruitment of soldiers have been gotten more stricter and stricter over the years. To make sure you have the more suitable people for the job as possible. So, yeah, people like me are not allowed to join the military at all. I accidentally threw three grenades at the door there instead of trying to knife it like that. So I yeah, almost it, killed myself. Okay. Come if on, people really? want to remind me that there's, there are some syndromes, which I'm not going to tell you all what it is. Is there are some syndromes that will not allow you to enter military at all. Though, during this era, I wonder how strict they were. I think that was just yes, during World War II, so... Yeah, they... At some point, they, they eventually took anyone they could. Yeah, I wanna go to the desk. Cover or something? Okay. Are many you are just one now. <laughs> like, we need to shoot them in the foot so they go they'll drop out their shield and we are oh, really holding up a white flag. Come on. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that is that is nice. That if you do fail a mission, they'll allow you to jump right back into it. I'm not sure if that cost us anything in. Could have cost us an experience, perhaps. And... Oh come on! What he happened? Turned he turned to dust from the explosion. He... Turn to ash would be more accurate. Oh yeah, what are your thoughts on the game so far? Interesting. But it has story. But it, yeah, it is it's light, but it's, yeah, but it's still a story at least. Yeah. I can see it, this as a maybe for like a Saturday or even Sunday streaming, depending how long it is. Like. If you're able to finish it in only two hours, it could have its own Sunday or something. Yeah. For now... Okay, that, that, that is nice. Not, not, all, not all of games do this, that uh, gunshots light up areas. Yeah, we could put this on the Sunday, you know, on the weekend sometimes. Hello, buggy. Yeah, it is. Yes, a pistol got shot could light a room. Probably is that's probably still a waste of uh, ammo. Yeah. Uh, 
I, I can't. When they are shooting me, they are still invulnerable and getting shot themselves. So I need to shoot in the foot first. Lottie. Okay. I still don't notice it's a lot of old humor in this. It's almost like a yeah, a comic uh, this depiction of uh, warfare. Oh yeah, uh, along with some classical humor like uh, shooting the food, dropping a pants, turning to ashes. Uh, that that's why they were hard. I wonder what the heck is he doing? They saw they saw what he said on the box. Not a trap. We help you. Oh come on, really. I'm not sure if this will happen a lot. Oh, oh kick me. So you're one of the old recruits. That was easy enough. I... Alright, you want revenge in the Black Army? I'm guessing that's a yes. Just stay close, I'm in a mission, you know? No, we're not going back for those magazines. <laughs> I hear the white flag is a bit of a classical cartoon thing. Okay, and we can't warp from inside here, it seems. And, okay, he is just going to follow us. Uh, yeah, let's just get out of here, warp back, and yeah, see what happens. But, yeah, a simple, silly game. Hello, now it's dark and raining. Okay. lot more gold, okay. Great job, we're at the main bunker, we can start, uh, we can now start flying back. What about that soldier I found? I've assigned him as your partner. Partner? We'll make a great team, we hard, we don't even know each other. Oh, looks like you're my new, my new partner. I don't know about that. Uh, no, no, not that kind of partner. <laughs> No, you can't use my tent either. <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, now we have enough up here. Okay. Um, okay, we can level up something. We pistols plus 10 damage, rifles plus 14 damage, grenades plus 15, or plus 60 health. Okay. Um, that's actually put some points. In. Oh, we have multiple. Let's see how far. So, toe to toe to level. Okay. But, yeah, I think that gives a good enough show of what this game is, and really. <laughs> uh, we have to check up who the developers are and see if they've done any games we reckon for. Some of the art style do look so damn familiar. <laughs> yeah, it, it's crude, but not bad. So uh, let's just Indeed. leave him to his fate. But it, it, it does remind me of Insult Simulator with obvious differences, like they're, they're all taller and more detailed, but something about the facial expression reminds me of uh, that game. Okay, we'll, we'll look that up after we're done with the other three games, because now we're moving on to the second. Yep, okay. just screen share. Screenshot. There we go, and yeah, there, so he has caught it, and oh, okay, uh, that <laughs> made me a, a bit hazy-like for a bit, okay, I hope that doesn't stay too much. Okay, yeah, this is Super Flights, and uh, okay, that's a high, that's a, <laughs> that's a high score in there, it is too big for <laughs> the, <laughs> the boxes, okay. How much have you played this? Not at all. Oh, so that's probably someone else's uh, high score. And yeah, from what, what I read about this game, this is this is all about just relaxing and flying around and getting points for doing whatever the hell it says. It's it is. A it's basically a skateboard game, except you're just flying. Yep. So, uh, 
Well, maybe something to chill out with sometimes, but not really something for schoolers to train like me, do Is there even store in this? Uh, I assume not. And... Okay. See you back out. Oh yeah, just a, a simple game to waste some time with as well. It does look nice. It, it still has a bit of a crude look to it, but not in a bad way. It's portal, okay. The uh, achievement the cake was a lie. Okay. That makes things a bit more interesting than just having a single map to go through. Beginner and C is secretly common. Oh, there's the portals and there's the wall. <laughs> okay, it, wait, is it now backtracking all the way we've flown? Okay. Let's see, how to super fly. Fly close to walls, get points. Fly through holes and stuff, get more points. Okay. Oh, now we're staying here. Okay, we can try to hunt down those four goals. Not to price. I said try not to, but okay. Oh yeah, we can probably oh dear. Just 50 minutes, or even shorter perhaps. So let's yeah, just see what the hell we can do with this. Yeah, sure, it looks interesting, but does it look... Entertaining, really. Yeah. Maybe for something to do while some chatting. Uh, uh, this is more, more like a light time killer than a uh, game you invest a lot of time in. Yeah. Still, I was curious about it. Uh, not much, yeah, but not bad either from the looks of it. Where those freaking portals? Somewhere. And there they are. And there's the floor. There's <laughs> uh, nowhere about it should be. So this is the exact same point as before. Here. Not crash, come on, come on, come on. No, miss. <laughs> I probably should have done the one. Uh, all right. Let's just go straight down. Okay, another area. In fact, we can actually use what's at the first area. I think it is the first area. Oh, that was a close one. Doesn't mean part of this game would be to uh, yeah. memorize the general layout and such. This is new. And will. <laughs> okay. Ow. Move on to the next one. Yeah, for I'm. I'm not feeling this one. I I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I. Yeah. It's a a very a game I'm very neutral of. Like I said, not good, not bad. So yeah, third game, Superland. This one actually comes highly recommended by my father, who has been playing through the entire series. So, yeah. Let's just start out. Uh, I think there. I've seen some YouTubers play this. And start the timer. Okay, so 
also a bit literal <laughs> in the sandbox game. Okay. Really oh, an achievement for getting out of bed. <laughs> I could hear just a lot of chipmunk chatter. Yeah. Should I be <laughs> worried? We're out of water. Please go down the pipe and find what's wrong. See? Find out where Red Town is out of water. Alright. I think we should also be worried about what the hell sort of things are in the reeds, but uh, yeah. Let's -a go then. Is there motion blur on or something? Let's see. Video. Motion blur. Let's turn that off. It can be nice, but for videos, generally not. Uh, hello. Heard it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> really? <laughs> Good luck. Is sword. It's not dangerous anymore if you have one of these. Causes two damage. Okay. Stand at the to the left. Okay, some coins. Super game became the yeah, Super Games presents. Oh, okay, that's a, that's already a plus one in my book, if you ask. Where you can see your own bodies. Generally uh, a sign that they pay more attention to details and such. Okay. At least you can see your feet. Yeah. Like, so many games these days still just completely ignore giving you an actual physical form in the game. Where you just, yeah, a pair of floating hands at best. Yeah, those that usually do, usually have a, at all you can go between first person and third person. True. But if you're only first person, then it's usually, then it's a, a bit of a, yeah, it can depend highly a lot on the developers. It's basically a, a coin flop, coin flop, coin flip. Okay, these things are healing items. You can crouch with control, also with a basic control. Yep. And okay, um, I think I see your problem. What the hell is that doing down here, even? Let's just follow that to its end and turn it off. Okay, is that going to be enough or is that just decoration? <laughs> Let's pick that up, put it on a button, and open says me. Hello there. A little bit more so they can't repair it. Please? Go to Google and talk to that king. Okay. Okay. Double speed. If you find golden barrels, put them into the box over there to get new upgrades. Okay, and okay, we 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 can only carry around 30 coins at a time. I hate that. But the rare occasion when I did play Nintendo Wii with my younger brothers, I saw the pool. If you want to have more money, you need to upgrade your wallet, and uh, that just infuriated me. Like, sure, it sort of makes sense, but at the same time, it feels like a damn real bullshit mechanic to have in a game. In most games, it doesn't. Hello? Do you know the teleported man? I'll show you the ultimate version if someone wants to assist. Uh, I need to talk to you. You want to just, uh, yeah. Do you want to assist me in this trick, sir? Step into one of the owner's boxes. Okay, how can this possibly go wrong? Great, we can start. Keep your eyes on the box, kids. Yes, now... In the other box. Okay. And 
I'm still in here. What? Uh, your trick might have failed a bit. <laughs> Who the worst failed, though? What? Why did I screw this up? Really? This is your trick. Okay, uh, I'm just talking around for some quick coins so we can speed up things. So we can see more in this half hour. Because, yeah, my, my father really liked uh, uh, this game and the other ones. And from what I've heard, it's been described as a sort of first person network video. And, yeah, it's even a lot fast. It's a lot faster. Let's see, bring golden barrels to the shop for power. I'm not seeing any golden barrels. Okay. Let's we'll grab a few more questions. Hello. Oh, got a tiny button. Okay. And with double speed, we can get in and. Enemy health? See enemy health bars and how much damage do you do to them? Okay. That is nice. Information is power after all. And there we go. Okay. Yes, uh, let's go to Blueville. Can I actually slow down, maybe? Do you make yourself too fast? When you have the force cube, come talk to me again. Uh, okay. Uh, nope. Okay. Uno equals... Quattro, Zinco, Chapter... You know what I was wrong. I think I skipped six. Oh, okay, you die really quickly then it seems. <laughs> okay. You fail, failed. Okay. Uh, will those things have respawned? Yes, they have. Okay. Yeah, at least the queen. Uh, oh god. <laughs> Leave her behind. <laughs> Pardon? Oh, that. Oh, that has more here. Oh, okay, this works. Just completely spam it. Uh, I take only one more hit. And there we go. Okay. I was thinking the game was a bit, a bit kiddy, but I'm guessing they don't play around that much. Maybe I should have gotten that plus one damage instead. Uh, there is a battle. Uh, try to get it into the shop to new. Okay. Yeah, you might need it. Let's see. Uh, there's one. It is. Uh, let's see. Got a button. Uh, okay, I'm guessing... Yep, it can't get through here. So we put it down there. And... Boom! Yep. It would have gone boom. <laughs> if that hadn't been there, so let's just get that out of the way. Now we try it again. I oh oh my. And what is a respawn barrel? Okay, that, that is nice in case you accidentally manage to glitch it through the floor or just plain get it lost. What have we here? Okay. Something we can't get to yet, at least. But let's bring this back, get the damage upgrade. And then we'll go chase after the queen. Let's see. What did that add? Force cube, 20. Okay. Let's instead just get this damage. And try not to fail to the, <laughs> the second group of enemies in the game. For the third time. Oh what dear. Did... Okay, I did not die here. So why is this here? Don't tell me that's the queens. Uh, very much. Maybe there's where other people die or something? Let's see, with a forest cube you could get the barrel out of there and bring it to the shop. Or I could just drop it in there. Hmm. Oh, that destroyed it. Okay. Uh, yeah, because lava. 
Okay. Enough of that. Let's just. Let's try not to die again. Let's grab some coin. And yes, that is completely the Mario coin noise. Ow. Oh, that uh, won't come do good. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I come with you. Open that door for us. Okay, and we're up. So we need to go up. And just... Is this it? Okay, this is just another puzzle, but something on the other side. I just... Wait. Is that a motion sensor or something? Yeah, it's not. Okay. Something for later then. Back on track again with trying to get uh, this done. There, it, there are a lot more. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot more tombstones. Then uh, we've died yet, and hello. I can't afford to double jump to get over there. Okay, so there's a double jump upgrade we could get eventually. Let's see. Ah. Can't get that. Maybe I could, but I'd need a lot better timing. Okay. Yeah, I can see what they meant with this being a uh, first person. Oops. Okay, now our inventory is full, so okay, at least it leaves behind the ones that we can't pick up. Yeah, that's good, otherwise I'd be very annoyed. Okay, open that up. Okay. Yes, yes, you're the one that's <laughs> being slow here. more of those skull things around. And there's very obviously going to be a water pipe puzzle here from the looks of things. Let's see, get the MacGuffin from the red crystal tower. Oh, what? Did you have something to shoot that thing above me? Okay, uh, red crystal tower. I'm guessing the, I'm guessing the crystal points to the red crystal tower. And yeah, looks like we'll be doing that... <laughs> Pipe puzzle now, then. Health bar. The latest innovation in technology giving you a visual representation of your uh, health status. Right parts in the uh, bar indicate how far your health automatically regenerates. Okay. Okay, that's kind of useful. Yeah, more useful. Yeah. And, yeah, we are. We're already. Did it. We already had a oh, number and number, which is also good for keeping track of yeah, health, but a visual, a visual representation also works. It helps keep track, you know, without having to manually calculate how things are or something. Okay. Hmm. Now then, we obviously need to get on there. I think if the crystal does point to where we need to go. So, so we get on here. Again, you bounce over this wall and up the pipe, you'll get uh, to the big tower. You need a triple jump. Okay. And can't make that. Okay, it looks like they can. They mainly attack by just charging straight forwards. And we don't have enough height to get that, so I'm guessing we need to go get that double jump somehow. Okay. Let's first try and get up here. And can we make this? Yes, we can. Okay. There, you, you, know, you get to the giant crystal that conceals the power from the coffin, I was told. Okay. I'm, 
okay, that must be the Crystal Tower, because that looks like the blue you know, village castle or something. Okay, but that does mean that we need to go back and just buy things to start. And we need to go find more barrels to bring back. Okay. So, I'm guessing this game is a lot less straightforward than I thought. Yeah, typically in games you get pointed from A to B, but this just drops you more into a, a, a little sandbox. <laughs> we need to go looking around for... Oh, uh, we need to go looking around for cash and uh, upgrade barrels and use that to yeah, progress. Let's get the port cube. Let's see. After project, spawns a heavy cube. Achievement force cube. Okay. Uh, that you probably need the force cube to prevent the other thing to fall into the lava. Oh, okay. That just shows where it will be. Okay, but how am I supposed to get that then if the block is going to block my way? Unless. There we go. Okay. That is well, nice. It, it is nice. Though way simpler than you were making it. I can also just spawn it directly underneath me, so where I don't need. Wait, does the does the purple block stop me from jumping or something? I can't. For some reason, I can't jump now. So I'm guessing these panels block you from jumping somehow. <laughs> We've got one more coin. Another one of these bone heads to get rid of. Yeah, seems that like they just continuously respawn. Right. And we already know how to fix this. There. <laughs> so it doesn't fall in. And we can grab this. And there we go. <laughs> it goes back in there. And now we just bring this back. This could get a bit annoying, maybe, if we have to go all the way back for each of these barrels. Depending on how far away we go. Double jump. Okay, we need that, but we also need a lot more coin for that. So... Let's just look around for more of that. How are we in time with this, actually? Okay, only 20 minutes, okay. Let's see, what do you do? Right, I'll be right back. Just gonna throw some food into the machine. Okay, now we have a white cube. It doesn't stay white. <laughs> no idea what that's for. So let's just continue moving on. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of this stuff looks a bit useless at the moment, but I get the feeling at least some of them are going to be yeah, used for something. Let's see. Amazing game, so much better than its predecessor. Nine. Uh, Nine. Nine. Okay, I'm guessing it's not that good of a game after all because, yeah, it's saying no in German. <laughs> and back. Welcome back. So Thank you. Did I miss much? Did I miss much? Uh, not really. Just something that paints our cube white for some reason. Red. doesn't even stay white. <laughs> so I have no idea what that's for. I'm going to assume it's going to be for some... Oh, hello. I think I see. This guy wants us to put something here. And I'm guessing they want it to be the same as the other side. So we, if we find a crystal like that, we can paint it white there and then pull it in. Okay. That makes sense. And another good barrel. I wouldn't really call that a secret area. 
And it looks like a plate that can move. So before before we bring that barrel back, let's grab these for healing. Oh, it's got a blue side. At least the red side part is much bigger. Yeah, it's a big ass eraser. Or rather, we are rather tiny. Yeah, and they. They don't know the difference between red and pink. Okay, that is movable, but we're clearly not strong enough to actually move it. So let's just grab this Wham. and head back. I guess, I'm guessing this game could end up uh, a lot like Slime Rancher did, where yeah, we just need to go explore a lot. That's regeneration. Only five coins, that, that is very nice. And we want that double jump first, so we need 16 more. Actually, we need this one first, then we need that one. Okay. So, back to exploring then, since we need a double jump to even progress. Or a triple jump, even. Maybe we, maybe we can get this done if we get some sort of teleportation power eventually. Look maybe. at the giant red crystal behind the cliffs. You should go there. Go there. For more health, mix some green leaves and water in this juicer. We, we have neither of those, so we have no use for that at the moment. Mm. We have every here. Ah, that, <laughs> that opens up this door here. We need something to hold it down. We might have been able to use one of the barrels for that, perhaps. Or it's but, supposed to be for that uh, stone brick. Yeah, I think the cable leads here. It must be for this plate. It's blocking the door. Let's see. I think that might be all that we can really see here now. Because the other houses are boarded off. Okay, we need to keep in mind... Can we pluck... Yes, we can pluck these out. Okay. And we bring them over here. Drop them. Paint them. Grab them. And put them in place. Because he, he probably would have complained if we just put in any uh, crystal. Okay. Really eraser beds. You didn't do this earlier? In that nope. secret house, there was a razor bed as well. Okay, just some coins. It's enough in, at least to get a bigger wallet. So, coins. Now we can have 60 maximum. And yeah, now we need to go exploring more outside of here. Actually, yeah, we could just use the <laughs> we can use the uh, force cube to hold that button down. So let's go do that now before I forget, because I will forget. Um, Even I forgot about the uh, the <laughs> that cube. <laughs> going to use that a lot, I'm guessing. What is in here? Sort of... Okay. Hit enemies from a bit farther away. And really? That's... That's... That's a plumbus from uh, Rick and Morty, I think. Okay. And that button there is in case you manage to lock yourself in here. Wait, you watch Rick and Morty? No, but I have heard and seen enough of it to know a thing or two. Alright. 
It's a fun show, but uh, it has some moments if it gets a little bit much. Hello. Uh, hold down the force cube button to preview the spawn location and to preview the lights. Okay, that is nice. And even when you have no need for the cube, you can still use it for something else. And it just gives up light on its own. Okay, another secret area. Get rid of that. Okay. Still need more coin though. Put them in the corner. Yeah. Okay, now there's a bunch more of them. Actually, can I press put that in the ring? It slows them down, but it doesn't damage them. Really back already. That there's something up there. Let's see. How do we get up there then? Let's see. Yo, hello. Goodbye. Racers! That button is linked to these two types. So I'm guessing those are for launching you in the air or something. Hmm. Okay. We can't make that without the double jump, but we can get to these coins here. That. Okay, I didn't see this earlier. Oops. Enemies now drop coins or health when killed. You get more coins if your health is full. Okay, that is nice. In case you uh, yeah, just run out of coins that you can find in the area. Okay, we already went up here, but we left this coin behind. And that is most of this area covered then, I'm guessing. There is still this here. But the moment we try to get in, it closes off. Unless... We put something in the way. I thought we can do that earlier, actually. <laughs> Regeneration ceiling only has an effect if you own health regeneration. Raises health regeneration. Okay. So yeah, that will just up how much we regain, but we need to get the full. We need to get the ability to re to re yeah to regenerate in the first place. Try to drop the cube on those monsters. Head. Okay, so it it can be used in combat as well. Only if you drop it on the head. Right. Sword's critical damage. Sword has a chance to make double damage. Current chance is 5%. Okay. That's low. Yeah, it, it'll probably go up with things as we find more you know, upgrades and such. True. Okay. That's the 30 minute mark. Yeah, we could we could put this on the weekends as well. I'm not entirely sure that it was how we we're supposed to get to this <laughs> chest, but uh, I'll still take it. Okay. And yeah, these things just completely stop us from jumping, but we can put the block on, and then we can jump. Okay. 
Just teaching you things without actually building them. Teaching you things without spelling it out. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely say we put this on the Saturday once we run out of other things. Yeah, it seems very easy and relaxing. Yeah. So now definitely. we'll move on to the last game then. Already on the last game. Yeah, sometimes this is just going to go really, really quickly. Yeah. It's, it's rare. Normally we go overtime. The only other time we're going to stop early is due to, well, if too many Bray games didn't want to work. Yeah. And the last minute game for today is going to be the Survivalists, which is a, a sort of spin off from the Escapists. Oh, yeah, I recognize this. I think some people have played, uh, tried to let's play this, but never really got far into it. I think there's one team called the Stumps. Okay, they played it play. a lot in early access. Is it still on early access? I don't think so. Let's see. Being crafty, see. Selected. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking these are probably things that'll show up in the game and they're just here if you need a, a touch up on your the knowledge of it. So let's just hit play. Let's see. You want to see prompts but explain how to play the game? Is recommended when playing for the first time? Yes. Where am I? Wait, who am I? Okay. Profile tab, you can uh, customize your appearance by selecting hairstyles and facial accessories. Change the color of your character's clothing and skin by pressing C. Okay. Oh. Okay, and I hold. It's not often that you need to hold down buttons like that. Yes. But they're doing that in case you uh, yeah, <laughs> accidentally click it. It's only two body types apparently. Wallet. Okay, let's go with that. And we can't change the name apparently, but we can change the color of our clothes. I try to mimic my mustache. <laughs> let's go with that. <laughs> we we fell right out of the 80s. <laughs> okay. Let's Broken raft with some berries, pebbles, rope, and palm leaves. It's going to eat to avoid starvation. Consume, press uh, with, with the comma and a point. Press left mouse button to eat. Okay. What? Uh, it seems that I can only pick these up one at a time. Simple items can be crafted using C. Okay, that's unusual. You hold down the button to move as a stack. Or, oh, you can also use shift and yeah, click. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what I think of the control so far. What is this? Find the mysterious shop. Shipwrecked, new to honor life, and then a little help surviving, visit the mysterious shop. There's all kinds of items that will make your stay here more comfortable. You'll be able to find us somewhere on this island. Well, um, life can be tough for newcomers. Hmm? Look at the, the, uh, I, the picture icon next to the text. <laughs> That's almost what we went for. With our yeah. <laughs> yes, it looks worse than ours. Let's see, you might want to spend a little time getting prepared before you head out. Okay. Getting a Don't and Starve vibe from the game so far, but I know it has some things that Don't Starve doesn't have. Uh, I suspect it was inspired by Don't Starve and such, but try to do their own thing as well. Okay, with the hand axe selected once equipped, you can chop that with the hand. Left mouse button, okay. There we 
go. And we need got a new crafting recipe. Okay, so yeah, if we just if we craft stuff, it unlocks the stuff around it. So we could make comfy panic, but we need straw for that. And for that we need long grass. Now though, let's just cut down. Okay. So we can charge and swing. Or just click and swing. Okay, we can probably use it in combat as well then. Okay, roll of that up. What? You need to... Let's see. We can make a flimsy multi-tool. Let's do that. And that has a wooden club. Okay. I'm going to tingle for that. Can you see some berries? Uh, flowers down there. I'll just chop down this tree and then we'll move on. I do like it. It looks very nice and uh, have a nice animation and all that. So you have to individually click on every single thing. And yeah, I'm sure about the... Um, Control settings so far of the game. Okay, we can't pluck any flowers or something like that. And there are pebbles here. Club, so we can defend ourselves. And I can also just okay. I can also just select things like yeah, by clicking them like that. Now, how are we going to get some of that tall grass then? Oh, that mm -hmm. must be the berry bush then, the big uh, bluish one there. You can run by holding right mouse button while moving. Tap to roll. And access backpack with I. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, there are berries growing on it, but I can't seem to interact with it. Or at least not now. And I can also just select items with numbers there. Okay, so I need to destroy it to get the berry. Seriously? The, the... I can directly say this. If you also want to survive on an island, don't destroy the edible berry bushes. Yeah. Okay, some timber. Actually, can I cut down? Yes, I can. Okay. So that's how we get the long grass. Probably should have guess that's really easy. You could, in theory, pull up, depending on what kind of bird bush it is. You could dig them up and move them closer to camp, but you should never destroy them. Unless it's already dead, a dead, dead, dead bush, you know, like, it's it's not going to go any more bears at all. It's completely yeah. dead. That is good kindling. Let's see. Make sure bed. Okay. Used to build a bed. Required to be able to sleep in a bed. Okay. And then we make some rope. And stone chunk. Used uh, larger stone with several crafting uses. Tool handle. And then make sure. Right back if the food is done. Okay. Okay. This is all. Give me a second. It seems that the chroma key on the camera is doing a is a bit off. Yeah, it's making me hazy for some reason. I'm not sure it's done that before. So let me uh, let's see. Shift that around a bit. Hmm. And also, apparently, the bar here is visible behind me. Let me just add a little bit more. Hmm. Let's see, let's move that aside. Okay. Odd. Hmm. Okay, back to the game. 
yeah, we have our tools have durability, which is always annoying in games. Can we mine stone? Yes, we can, but it's rather slow. around here then. Oh, uh, hello. That's going to be a yeah, break. <laughs> so let's just make another one. And there we go. Okay, pick all of that up. How much space do we have left actually? And, nope, what is that glistening thing? Okay, quite a big backpack still. Uh, let's ignore the monkey for a moment. The heck is this? I need a bomb for this. Okay. Uh, let's get you out. Monkey helpers. Your monkey help your monkey friends can do anything you can do. Sign them rules in monkey mimic mode and you're holding Q. Okay. We received a monkey tutorial. You can track these in treasure map in the treasure maps tab of your journal. Uh, these short tasks will teach you how to make the most of your monkey friends and give you some balloons to fruit. Okay. Let's do a stranger. Tasks, trinkets, bestiary, profile, monkeys, monkey glosser. So again. To save the game, you need to sleep in a bed. But first, you need to build it. Build mode with R. Okay. Uh, select a weapon and attack your enemies with left mouse. Hold. I'm back. For special attack. Oh, welcome back. Thank uh, you. All you really missed is uh, us yeah, busting out a monkey and it turning into night with bats showing up. Oh dear. Okay. to give your monkey a club. Yeah, I should probably use the club as well for fighting. That deals a lot more damage from the looks of it. Ow. And yeah, when they have the red exclamation point, they're going to attack. And I did say that every time our dodge like that correctly, we can counter attack. I'm not sure if that was it, but... Okay. We have quite a bit to pick up now, and some meat we can throw later. No, 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 no. For now, though, let's see. Buildings, select a blueprint, place down in blueprint mode, press the left mouse button. Once you have it in the design nerd position, uh, blueprints can then be built after leaving blueprint mode. Okay. We can start with the beds. Let's just put that a bit away from the thing that we are going to need to bomb eventually. After placing a blueprint, you need to add the recipe items to it. Approach with one of these items in your inventory, then press space to add it. Once the recipe is fulfilled, you put a multi tool to start building. Okay. And what's that? Farming? Okay. What's with monkeys today? Like, first, the first game had. Yeah, marine monkeys, and now we have monkeys here as well. You're building a straw bed with a hammer, alright? Yeah. Remember to save the game frequently, the world out there is dangerous. I keep forgetting that it's a hold press, not a... <laughs> yeah, that, that's gonna... That's gonna annoy a lot of people, like... Sure, I've played a lot of Ark, there's sometimes where you need to hold and press, but not for everything. Yeah. Okay. Save and sleep. Okay. Alright, interesting so far. It's not really holding... Well, it's a bit so hard 
It's a bit half and half with hand holding. Like it's giving very detailed explanations. So. Okay. But it's not yeah, telling us to go here, do this and such. Yeah, and don't forget to give your monkey a club. Yeah. That, I recall YouTube is giving the monkeys clubs. Okay. Better make myself a new one as well then. I we need more wood for that. Wait, wait, hit it. Oh, is he holding it? Damn pixel. It's just a pixelator. Now. Uh, oh, he he has the club then. All right. Yeah, it, it, it's next to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing Why is he's he not... going to pull it out when he needs it. Okay. Um, I'm super, super being surprised with the animation on the character bodies and all that, but they didn't bother animate the monkey holding a club in idol. Why? The map. A map of the world can be found on the map tab inside of your journal. You can place markers which will appear on the main map. Okay. Probably a good idea to... Now we can also just open it with M, which is yeah, the basic map key. You can add map markers to remind yourself something cool or useful. Okay. Oh, and it automatically, show, it automatically marks a place as an encampment if you've put down a bed somewhere. That makes sense. Okay. Down. And get some coconuts for food, timber, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Campfire, lightweight bed, slightly increases max health and saves progress. Okay. And a wall of made of clay. Yes. Okay. And simple pathway. Okay. Let's just gather these pebbles up, and we go back and build some of that stuff, so we can build other stuff as well. I do have to say that the graphics of this game are a lot more pleasant to look at than uh, Don't Starve's. Yeah, like, I do like the Don't Starve's uh, animation work, but it has its own style. But this one does look more pleasant. It does open up uh, for more variations of that can those kind of games. So you could have these to install as something that looks like them, but another art style perhaps. Okay. So I say to install in this game to hopefully be more of uh, opening up for new genres. So pressing control to craft with the multi tool equipped. So we need a lot more advanced stuff for that one. We need an iron nails even. Come on, build it. Holding the button down. Okay. Uh, Are you missing something? Oh, oh, it's not a hold, it's a press. Okay. Alright. We need more hay for that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that was my misunderstanding then. I, typically when building stuff you need to, uh, yeah, hold it down. What else do you have in the here? Wooden wall. Table, used for displaying a single item. Multi-purpose pole, used on land or in the water. Okay, and a chest. Well, let's make one of those, since you know, we're likely going to need to store stuff later, as well, eventually. Let's also make one of these crop plots, so we can start with food production. And just get more of these blueprints as well. I very much doubt that we'll be able to build all of this at the moment, but it'll give us something to work towards. Let's see. Those have anything needed for those but we can make some of those stone slates I hope we haven't made a tool handle yet okay so we need to find more trees to cut down oh dear. Hmm. 
So far, the game isn't bad, uh, really. And yes, with a lot of these survival type games, you need to put in quite a bit of time to get a uh, better feel for it. Yeah, like these down as well. Like, if you've played many survival survival games before, it should be somewhat easier to get into. Though you still need to get too used to the controls and all that. And it's not too bad. It's just all about the uh, hitting spacebar to pick stuff up. Like, but yeah. having the ability to uh, yeah just pick up everything in an area would also be nice. Actually, uh, monkey, you take that. And it was, yeah, Q was the button here. Monkey mimic. To get a monkey to mimic your actions, enter monkey mimic mode. Place your cursor over a monkey that was E to make them observe. Uh, leave monkey mimic mode to, to have them record and learn your actions. Hit, try hitting a tree while a monkey is absorbed. Okay. Need to make another one of these. Since yeah, the monkey now has mine. Okay, so you observe. And then he's going to help cut things down. Okay. Achievement, monkey see, monkey do. And this is how Tilion the monkey god started his reign. It took one monkey to shop tree, and another monkey how to fish. And suddenly monkey grab a salt rifle and monkey rule. <laughs> they turn green fast! Yeah, that, that is basically the plot of... Uh, uh, yeah, Planet of the Apes. Or at least the, uh, the prequel movies. And where the hell did he go? Oh, he's off to deforest the planet. <laughs> or not. Okay, uh, you no more trees, so... Wait, that means he did deforest the area. Okay, anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Wait, you named him James? Yeah, he was already named that, but... Hmm. Oh. Okay. Let's let's give you this, and then let's teach you how to chop rocks. Okay, and off he goes. And he'll probably keep going until he runs out of uh, yeah, stuff to do, or uh, out of yeah, his tool runs out. A moment, let's save the sleep again, so we don't get attacked by bats again. Oh, and he just goes through the entire night with it. Okay. The monkey's thing here, I knew already, but it does solve a bit of a problem that many survival games have in that it can take a long ass time to just gather resources and such and you know, if you can get the monkeys to make stuff you know, or to do stuff then it, it'll help automate things yeah it, yeah orc is also a good example for yeah you can just use a dinosaur there or another animal okay, to make the process faster <laughs> oh Let's see, we need something for that. Dirt or something. We need a yeah, lot of stuff that we don't have there. Uh, there as well. I'm guessing that's Let's dirt see. or something. I don't make it. Valheim is... Yeah, Valheim is a bit more difficult. That you have to do it yourself. But you can make a cart to pull resources along with. Yeah. So, but not unsure if that means uh, it equals automation. No. Ah, crafting bats. That is what we need. So let's put that there. Medium chest. We need iron hinges for that, but we definitely do not have that. Hmm. Pardon? 
We're given. Might as well put one up even if we can't make them. And the pole. No idea what sort of use that might have, but well, at least it'll get us down that down the path of that stuff. Maybe to grow tomatoes? Maybe. going to need a bunch of sticks for all of this. And where has James run off to? Blocked. Okay. Maybe you should teach James how to use the club. Uh, yeah, let's give that back. Oh, he's actually going to use that for it. Uh, okay, uh, his, hand, his hand axe must have run out. Uh, not the best. Yep. Oh, yeah, they definitely ran out. Uh, yeah, let's just make him a new one instead. That should be a lot a better use for that. Uh, um, we need seven of those sticks. We need nine of those sticks. And we need a lot of rope for that. Is there any way to craft multiple of these? This doesn't look like it yet, at least. Crafting recipe or not? Well, we didn't do anything new. Done. Then we need three slabs, two sticks, and three rope. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, this game, this game does look interesting, but I'm not too sure if, you know, how it would be for streaming. And we're out of long grass. Yeah, uh, I, I'm very unsure about this. Like. I think that it's a story, but mm. Mm. unsure uh, how in what manner the story is told. Okay, your hunger is displayed within your health uh, meter. When the heart is empty, you will start taking damage from starvation. Okay. So, and he's head off. Got some berries. Crafting benches. Monkeys can mimic your axe. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's a lot of extra things appearing. Place a monkey into mimic mode and deliver a recipe item to the crafting bench to have them deliver ingredients for you. Okay. Use a multi tool and complete the recipe to get the mimic matching monkey crafting for you. Alright. So they can, yeah, they can just build stuff for you as well. Uh, let's see. Flimsy axe. Bone club. Wooden slat. We need those for the other stuff there. Makes you frog. Okay. Bow. Decorative wall hanging. Okay, bit of an odd thing. Hmm, I think about it. I think shims have in recent years been making spears and hand axes. We are smart enough to make tools at the very least. And, oh, you're just yeah. continuing on with the, the massacre of all rocks in the area. Yeah, the spears are usually more like chop and stick, and the hand axe is just, yeah, like here, just a chop and stone you hold in your literal hand. Do I think I heard there's been some ships that actually started to. If I remember right, tie chop stones. Two sticks. Okay, that would definitely be a, a development for him. Yeah, do, I might be remembering wrong. For it, it was a while, and it's still a bit new info, so I may have to look it up as well. Okay. Now, yeah, we should probably go rest again soon. And how are we on time? Uh, two minutes. Yeah, we can end it then. Uh, this game. 
this game does look interesting, but you know, we'd have to see how things go for you know, if there really is a story. And okay, nice that they do have shadows that show, even if they go real fast during this. So let's just you know, you know, uh, put that blanket back on. Yeah, but they do have some interesting ideas, like training monkeys. Yeah, just automating, you know, giving the possibility to automate some stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's not do that. Hmm. Okay. I'll probably be playing this on my own, you know, somewhat, and we can maybe... S I'll, I'll see then if there is anything of a story to... Uh, to uh, discover. And if there is, we can add this on to the Saturday... Uh, to the Saturday list. All right. All right, but yeah, for now that will be the, the fourth game. So now let's take a quick look for who the hell made Super Trench Attack and see if that is the same developer as uh, that insult game. I have heard of that, but I've never played it myself. Let's see. Super Trench Attack, five bucks. Uh, Retro Army Limited and Paul Stephen Davis as the developer and publisher. Let's see. Uh, not seeing that insult game here. There's uh, two of them. Seeing some other chap, uh, cheap ones. Could be interesting some other time. Now Paul Stephen. Uh, no, the same. Okay, so there are not okay. relate. So that uh, insult game and super trench attack aren't actually related. All right. Okay. So yeah, just a similar art style then. Yeah, the, or similar ish. The, un the only similarity is the is probably humor and eyes on some characters, are the main one. But the other, the rest of it is very different from the the simulator one. Okay, now that, now that I actually think about it, I believe from what I'd seen of that game, the art style is a lot more pixelated in that one. Hmm. Yeah, well, as I said, the, the only comment they felt similar was the one of the faces uh, of the main character, but that's basically it. Okay, yeah, a bit of a flimsy connection if that would have been. Yeah, though I was thinking, if this was this, if the, if the trench one was new, I could see them then they've been updated the pixel art a bit more, like some developers do. Okay. But hmm. in this case, it was not. Okay, so the results for today are Super Trench Attack. We can put that on Saturday. Super Flight, uh, yeah, no. If, if I ever need to do a talking stream for something, I could maybe put that up. But otherwise, uh, nope. Uh, Superlands, yeah, I'm, we, that could get on the Saturday list as well. I'm thinking if we did too much of that, we'd probably get uh, frustrated with having to go all over the place eventually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and yes, the survivalists, I'll, I'll try it out further myself, see if there's actually much to it. And yeah, I'll judge from that. Yeah, so the last one is a maybe. Yeah. It's still a nice little batch. We've had far Ooh, yeah. worse. Oh, yeah. We have had worse. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, uh, don't think there's much of anything else to go on, then. Yeah, I can't think of anything else, either. So, yeah. Tuesday, we'll be continuing with Dishonored 2. And, yeah. Thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially, as always, Vakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And, yeah, like we said, more to Dishonor 2 in, a, <clears throat> in two days. But until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. Watch out for hamsters. <laughs> or monkeys with pickaxes. Or... Oh, uh